Hey YouTube, it's your girl Dr. J and I am back with another homeschooling STEM video. This video is going to focus on math books that are written by Danica McKellar. Now those of you who are from my generation will remember Danica McKellar as Winnie from the Wonder Years. Um, yes, she is an actress, but she is also a mathematician. She has um, an advanced degree in mathematics and she decided to, you know, take, you know, do what she could to deal with the concept that we're seeing in schools where girls just are kind of fa falling behind boys when it comes to upper level math and then really even being turned off by math. So she wrote these um, different books. I'm gonna show you um, each of the covers. And we'll start with <clears throat> Math Doesn't Suck, How to Survive Middle School Math. We have <clears throat> Girls Get Curves, um, Geometry Takes Shape, Kiss My Math, Showing Pre-Algebra Who's Boss, and Hot X, Algebra Exposed. Now, there are a couple of reasons why I really like these books. Um, the first reason why I like the books is because it really deals with topics that your typical American teenage girl would be interested in. So, yes, they're stereotypical, but, um, you know, she knows her target market. And, um, the, you know, a lot of the, the math scenarios that she deals with are things that, you know, a teenage girl will be interested in. You know, like math problems around, you know, how do you make money on eBay and that sort of stuff. So I really like that. I like the down-to-earth way in which she talks. Um, it, it's just, you know having a regular conversation with a teenage girl so it's not something that's really condescending and it's not something that's going to be like oh we're here to help you because you know you have to do good in math you know it's really saying hey ladies we got this we can do this there's a couple of ways that you can read the book one thing is to just is is your child to just read it kind of just like a book you know okay hey i'm just going to open this up and read the book and do the problems and that sort of stuff you know friendly writing fun pages um big graphics um, another way is if your child is having problems with a particular topic you can go in and just have your child read those particular sections and you know, if your child wants extra practice in a particular area, you can assign those. Another reason why I like these books is because if, you know, you as a parent want to be able to go in and brush up on some stuff that you maybe didn't get real well, or you want to, you know, kind of give yourself a refresher in, it's a really easy read. I will say that I would have loved to have these books available when I was in school. I was one, I did, I was not really strong in math. I thought that I hated math. Math didn't become re even remotely um, easy or logical to me until I was in grad school and sitting in, you know, an advanced quantitative statistics course. And it finally was like, oh, wow. So I, I get it. Like that was my eureka moment. You know, it would have made, you know, middle school, high school, algebra one, algebra, it would have made all of that so much easier if I had had these books. So even if you really hate the concept of, you know, books that talk about, you know, dating and, you know, guys and all these little, you know, silly teenage scenarios, even if you hate that, I completely understand it. But if your child is at all struggling with these math concepts, or if your child, especially if your daughter is, you know, saying that she doesn't like math or math isn't cool or, you know, doesn't really um, like to spend time with it, I would at least check out one or two of these books and see if it's going to work for your child because they're written well, the mathematics is solid, the explanations and the examples are solid, they're there. So this is not just, you know, an actress who wanted to make some money in education. She knows her math. When she explains the math concepts, it is going to make sense to a teenager. And she's not teaching it in a way that is incorrect. She is giving the child that kid skills that are going to be able to last them. Um, if you are using this book with like a younger child, um, 
some of the examples won't make as much sense because they're not there yet <laughs> you know if you have a a girl that's completely turned off by all things that are girly this is not the book series for you but if you have you know a child that's just kind of interested in, in what teenagers what the, the typical american teenager is interested in and the topics and likes kind of an, an informal girlfriend flow to conversations um these are really just some really good math books to um consider um like uh for uh hot algebra or hot x algebra it talks about you know getting up close and personal with algebra uh listening to your gut which goes over factoring and variables um meow mix is the name of the chapter but it's on ratio ratio rational expressions fractions with variables in them um, eating pizza in the dark that one is adding and subtracting fractions and variables so you see so she's doing like all the all the really true topics in in algebra negative and zero exponents intro to square roots and radical expressions intro to polynomials and adding and subtracting them but you know that's chapter 20 the name of the chapter chocolates for breakfast I mean hello that's just awesome so Great for teenage girls who are struggling, great for girls who would like some extra practice or into math and like reading, and also great for mommies who want to brush up on some stuff that we didn't quite get the first time around. So I got these off of Amazon. Um, you can get them used. Um, they may be available at your local library as well. But again, these are Danica Miller's. McMillers, McKellar's book, I'm sorry, Dan, Danica McKellar's books on al, uh, math, middle school, geometry, pre-algebra, and algebra. Um, hope this helps. This is Dr. J, and I'm out. Bye-bye.